tremendous talents across the board really and alongside me is Paul Rue and he's already seen them in action give us a quick thought about what you saw when they beat Scotland the other day Treviso, second round, look at the support in numbers there, Clevish. an occasion one requires fluid to take on board, so the organisers have said, you know, we'll have a one minute break in the middle of each half and take on as much water, as fluid as you need, but uh, make sure you do. Yeah, Treviso is situated in a very yeah, beautiful area, uh, Treviso is a very beautiful area and they've got a lot of vineyards around here, wine. The Prosecco wine, the famous Prosecco wine, is produced here in Treviso as well. How long have you been? It's your name. It's still going. Powerful man, the flanker. Chance here, just held up. Ireland hanging on by a skin hook. Khusun, this is now with the car. All left is done. So for the first time, it's a two-score lead for the baby box. Again, it's this. Players might probably quite glad to have a little breather in these conditions. Come on. Belair, but it's Jacobs again this time, second row, Elzebeth, powerful man. You're not going to well, stop Elzebeth five minutes from the line. Knocking on 18 stone, this guy. <laughs> Untidy ball, that, back from Elzebeth. Well, McCure goes into the hands of Connelly. Once again, or can they turn this into a dramatic triumph? They've got how long? About seven minutes, I think. And uh, some words with the coach, David Tron. Next week was man new to the coaching role, Eric Souls, who's standing by him on his left in the shirt there. Eric Souls, who was a legend of success in earlier years with the under 19s and under 21s. And the crowd generously applauding Ireland as they leave the field, disappointed again, but uh, they go with plenty of honour to be proud of in their performance. And hopefully... As we await, this is the second of the double header, two of the heavyweights in England and South Africa. South Africa have stayed with the bulk of the squad that thumped Ireland 32 to rows. And there you see the two respected captains, Alex Gray for... third and England the England captain said we've got everything you need in a good side we've got pace we've got good set pieces so they very be very confident and uh, but I think both of these teams haven't played at the top potential I think they can play better and this will be the day today today definitely the day it brings the best out of players commentators and officials been looking forward the captain is actually the winger short Andy short claims the ball inside his own 22 pass back now to Ford forward with that right foot angling it beautifully it's taken by the South African captain Bortha and he fields it in he fields it 
now South Africa looking to try and use the pace. It was Tauti. First look, we've had a look at him. The full big tackle coming in from England. They've turned it over yet again. Round and no one's leaving it out. This is Ruan Venta, the Golden Lions, the 18 year old. He's not looking too comfortable, and they're going to make an immediate change. And that's a big loss because he's a quality player. Here's Venta. Well, we're hoping that uh, Fenta, that he won't be out for the remainder of the tournament. It's been coming on in Jersey 18, Gene Cook from the Free State Cheaters. Well, this is international rugby, so I think someone who comes on is obviously uh, almost at the same level than the one that's coming off. A strong front row, Matia played Craven Week out of Dr. Yeshe Janssen for the Falka. And uh, the Golden Lion side, as Zena mentioned, with those four South African under-20 players, although the Mares Schmidt did not play in the final against New Zealand. But otherwise, Ruan Fenter, a South African under-20 player from 2010. And they will need to really consolidate and try and build a little bit of confidence because of the fact that they are not. The handling four. skills look superb, as we have come to expect from nearly every team that comes out of Bloemfontein. Well, Robert Debrain leading the Lions onto the field. Quite a few of these Lions have played in the Vodacom Cup, as have the Cheetahs players as well. There's Robert Debrain. Craven Beek for KwaZulu Natal a couple of years ago. And a, a good bunch of, well, little mini Sharkies, we should call them, that, that came out in that period. Both these teams have come unstuck horribly against the Sharks. Joey Salmons is our referee. Oh Thunderbite, uh, he's under a bit of pressure himself. Back, back, a bit of all side back. there. But the winger there, then uh, Thunderbot. And Fenter not able to hold on too much. Mason. Sitting the big fella Kotze down on his butt. And from there, it was uh, the little knock on from Ruan Fenter. And unfortunately, he's done himself a harm. As you can see, he's still man down there. His right knee playing up. Well, the commentary box is Hanyani Shimangi. Good afternoon, Uncle Yu. There's the inspirational captain, Derek Mini. And I'm surprised it's 28 degrees when you walk down there. It feels a lot warmer. A tough assignment for this Lions team. But if they do click, they can certainly score a lot of tries. But looking forward to a game, you know, conditions are suitable for running rugby. Really, it's about which team is going to last the pace. And a special occasion, Ruan Fenter, debut. Good luck to him and the rest of the Lions team. Well, the Lions just for gather Van Royen. Sides have come to realize here at Griquiz that it's all important. You see Manus Skuman racing away there, but an interesting decision by Derek Minnie to kick for touch with the penalty being given right under the post. Franco van Amerva by far the most experienced player that they used. Derek Minnie to great effect to the Lions in the lineouts. Strong run there by young Ruan Fenta. Maya Yankees, a little bit of an opening that we can see from here. Many beautiful play. Dylan Des Fountain up and the try is. Well, Manus Hugo appealed to the referee who then put his arm out. It is Hugo. Franco van der towards the back of the line out. And it goes to him, good clean take, Maya, Yankees for the forwards just to take it to ground really. And another shrill blast. Game at home. Yeah, we've, we had a lot of disruptions during the week and last week we lost four or five of our best ball carriers and it's the, the message from the coach is just keep playing, we can't, can't put our heads down and feel sorry for ourselves so we, we need to put Put our, put our heads down and keep fighting for, for every point. I mean, personally, your injuries? Could see up. Mayer again. Away goes uh, Ruan Fenter. 